everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be doing a full face using subscription box makeup so I am subscribed to subscription boxes there are three there's um, Ipsy and Sephora play which I get monthly and then there is um, FabFitFun which I get quarterly so I have been saving all kinds of goodies to use to create a full face. So we have blush and foundation and primer and just all sorts of stuff to go through and do a full face with. So this gets quite interesting, um, especially with some of the products I have in this bag. Before we get started, if you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that button down below. I normally post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter, and I'll have those all linked down below for you guys. So, okay, <laughs> the very first thing I want to start with and try out is going to be actually a mask, and the reason I chose this is because it's only a three-minute mask. Um, so this is from Glam Glow. It is the Bubble Sheet Oxygenating Deep Cleanse Mask. Um, so you're supposed to apply, let it bubble within 60 seconds, and leave on for approximately three minutes. Um, so let's try this out. Ah, ew. Okay. Masks are, I mean, I like masks but they can either go really good or really bad. <laughs> uh, and the thing I, I, the thing I don't like about masks is when they're folded like this and you have to carefully take it apart because, you know, you don't want to tear it. So we're supposed to put this on. Oh, there's a bubble in the eye. That would not be good, right? Okay. Oh, there's a bubble in the mouth. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so, ah, it's cold. Ugh. Okay, so we're supposed to tap and rub. Tap and rub. We're going, ooh, ooh. So I'm supposed to take it off and let it bubble. So after I remove it, I'm supposed to massage it. This smells like hand soap. Like, not the good kind either. No, it doesn't stink. It just, it smells like just a bar of soap. And it feels like <laughs> shaving cream. <laughs> it feels like shaving cream. So, all right. So I'm gonna time myself for three minutes. And guys so it has been three minutes so I'm going to run wash this off and I'll be right back okay so I am back um face feels clean but it feels like very very dry like I literally just washed my face with a bar of soap so <laughs> um what I have is I think I got this from Ipsy, and it was the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. So I normally like um, moisturizing creams, so this will be different. And, oh, it's cold. <laughs> All right, let's see how this feels. Hmm, not bad. It feels a little sticky. All right. Let me let that dry. 
All right, so that's dry, but oh my gosh, my face is so <laughs> sticky. Like, I can feel it peeling off. I can feel my hands peeling off my face. I can hear it too, it's like, like Velcro. All right, so I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave that just for a few more minutes. So, for eyeshadow, I received this out of my FabFitFun box. So I was super, super excited to try this because I have not tried a pure eyeshadow palette. So I'm really excited to dig into this. This one is the Be Your Selfie palette. So we're not gonna do anything like crazy or out of the box today. Just something very simple just to kind of test it out. Okay. Oh, it smells good. Oh, I like that. It kind of smells like a Tarte palette. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna start with Pure. there's anything special about it the colors blend well uh, the eyeshadow is really pretty but I mean it I don't know it's definitely not wowing me and I think there are palettes are not cheap either so I would rather actually invest my money in something a little bit more special now that my face is dry, it just kind of feels, kind of feels icky. Like, it's not as sticky now that it's completely dry, but it feels like I have a film over my face. <laughs> um, but we must move on. So for primer, I did receive, I think this was in an Ipsy bag. This was the No Pour no problem primer uh, by touch and soul I've actually heard really really good things about this primer now if you look at this right here you see it's like all squeezed in there's looks like nothing is left in the tube that's because I received it like this <laughs> okay I have not used this one time so I'm a little sad that I don't get a full sample but I am excited to see what this does for my pores so is there any oh hello could have gave me a full sample all right Ooh, I definitely have fallout I probably should have cleaned that up but that's okay <laughs> Does anybody, does any one of you guys own this primer or do you like this primer? Have you tried this primer? I really, really want to know. Um, I mean, I my favorite primer is the Benefit Professional Primer. Um, but I'm always open to find something new. I, this feels really good going on, you guys. Like, really, really nice. Okay, so let's see. Pores look minimized. Nice, okay. Not as good as my benefit, but I mean, still pretty darn good. I have two options. I have the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation, 
Um, this is in the shade Light Y210. And then I have the Anastasia Belly Hills Foundation Stick, which I'm actually really excited for. This is in the shade Banana. So, hmm. I don't know which one I want to do. Let's see. That might actually be a match. I don't know. I really just want to try this. I was really excited to receive this in my Sephora bag, but there was an issue with it because, look, you see how much product I got? That's it. <laughs> and you, we all know the foundation sticks, they go pretty fast, um, but you know, ew. We'll just start with a little bit at a time. kind of like it it's not full coverage okay from Sephora play as well I received the benefit hula bronzer um, I actually have not tried this bronzer I have swatched it in store and I was a little skeptical because it seems really warm toned um, but it is a pretty decent size what they gave me so let's see this might be a little bit more accurate this is my wet and wild brush so ooh, powdery oh my gosh you guys <laughs> I'm a little nervous I'm a little nervous I was definitely ooh, um, definitely warm <laughs> you guys, y'all can see it perfectly on camera. Look at that. Doo -doo, there it is. Oh my gosh. I don't normally have this problem. <sighs> All right, for brows, I received the Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, I actually really do enjoy this product. Uh, typically when I use this, I will still have to use the pencil, but I mean, I still really, really like this product. Okay, so eyeliner, I got this from the Ipsy bag. This is the Insanely Intense Tattooed Mini Waterproof Eyeliner by Scone. So, really excited to try this. I think I've also received another one from Scone, but I can't remember, but we'll see. This is from Thrive Cosmetics. It is their Brilliant Eye Brightener. So you're supposed to be able to use this for like your brow bone or your inner corner. So that is what we are going to do. Okay, now this is a more recent product that I received. This is from Wonder Beauty. This is the Glotion lotion illuminatrix illuminatrix so um it's supposed to it says a skin enriched hydrating lotion that delivers a beautiful sheer champagne gold finish wear under or over makeup so i did just put it on the back of my hand i see the glow i would not wear this underneath my makeup um first of all the color is gold and I, I already have a 
gold complexion. So we're going to actually just use this as a highlighter. Why not? Ah, it's so liquidy. Okay, that's interesting. I'm really glad I did not put that under the foundation so I can actually know how the foundation worked. But, yeah, I, w I won't be using this. <laughs> I mean, I know this is not what it's for, but I still won't be using it. Now, I haven't received a mascara in quite some time. I did receive this in a pass box. Um, it is the Clinique High Impact Mascara, and it also has the primer. So I'm gonna be using both sides. And if I remember, I don't think I liked it, but, you know, we'll see. Yeah, I remember why I did not like the primer. You can't get product on the, the product on the lashes, not with that brush, not with this brush. Now that my eyelashes are primed. Okay, not a fan, <laughs> not a fan. So I do kind of remember why I kept this around. Um, I don't like the primer, I don't like the mascara for the top lashes, but it actually is really good for the bottom lashes. All right, moving on, what do we have left? So we need blush and lipstick. Okay. I remember I was going to save this, oh my God, for this video. <sighs> you guys, do you remember this when I brought this out? Oh my God. Okay, so this is a blush serum from Butanning and Beauty. I don't, I don't know. It says nourishing water-based cheek and lip color. I do have a lipstick, so we're gonna use this as a cheek. But you guys, this was like Barbie bubblegum pink. Oh my gosh, look. Show you just a tiny bit, and it comes out. Look at look at that. <laughs> How am I supposed to use this as a blush? Oh my god. How am I supposed to use this as a blush? Oh my, I'm, I'm scared. Like, this is what this is for. Let's try this out. All right, light taps. Let's do light taps. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys. Clown makeup. That's what this is. So if you want to look like a clown, oh my God. I only put a light dab. I rip and it just, oh. No. No, oh my gosh. Ugh. I did not mean to bring it that low. I really did not. You know, Yes, I knew this was gonna be a disaster, but they sent it to me and I was willing to try it. So, I mean, I guess that's not, once it's sheared out, not like this, not like bam in your face, but this side's darker. 
This side's darker than this side. <sighs> Still not a product I would buy or grab on purpose. So, you know what? Let me take a little bit of my sponge and see if we can... All right, that's better. Okay, that's see, that's not too bad. That looks like my natural flush. I mean, it's still too big, but I mean, shared out, if you were to use a extremely light hand, then this could work. <laughs> but I still wouldn't buy it. And for lipstick, I have the, uh, let's see, it's a Pout Time Vivid Lipstick Mini from Sugar. And this is in the shade Better Call Salmon. So this is a really, really pretty color, you guys. See, I cannot wait to get this on my lips. Ooh, that is a really pretty color. Yes. All right. And to finish off everything, I did receive the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Really excited. I love Urban Decay setting sprays. So the fact that they sent me one, yay. I love it. All right, you guys. This is not terrible. Okay. This is absolutely not terrible. I actually kind of like it. Maybe it's the lipstick that's tying everything in. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you really liked it. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up for me. I'll definitely start saving for the next time. Um, and I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye.